Hey, let's take a minute and meet Clark Kent, star of Superman. Chief, believe me, you're in for a treat just as soon as Jimmy gets back here. Great Caesar's ghost, what's holding him up? You know I can't work without a good breakfast. Chief, Jimmy's bringing a box of Kellogg's sugar wow. snacks. All the more reason for hurrying. Confounded, that boy knows I like those. <laughs> Good afternoon, and this is ECP's first news team, yay! And we're gonna watch the globe for a little bit, and we're gonna present it with Rodrigo and Eileen. My name is Rodrigo, and my name is Eileen, and we're here with your weekly news report. Even though it might not be accurate, but we're gonna do it anyways. So today, Monday, it would be the highest would be 72, and tomorrow, Tuesday, the highest would be 66. On Wednesday, the highest would be 68. Thursday would be reaching all the way up to 68. No, that's not too high, but it's great. On Friday, the highs would be 72. And Saturday and Sunday, well, you're just gonna have to deal with that on your own because we only come to scope until Friday. <laughs> so that'll be all for today or this week. Now we transition to our next subject. Thank you. Good morning, DC. I'm Samantha. And I'm Eva, and this is Celebrity Trash Talk. Uh, Sam Smith recently spent New Year's Eve with his new boyfriend, Jonathan Zazel. Sam Smith has made his 23-year-old model boyfriend official on Instagram. He has recently made a new music video, Like I Can, featuring Zazel. Could this song be about his new day? I don't know, could it? Another rumor is going around, One Direction singer Harry Styles has a new girlfriend. The couple have been spotted together in New York. And in case you guys didn't know, Nadine Leopold is a Victoria's Secret model. And apparently, ex-girlfriend Kendall Jenner dissonated and switched the lyrics "Forget You" to fit them. Eva, do you hear that? It sounds like a million hearts breaking. <laughs> and that is it for celebrity trash talk. Stay tuned for insights of celebrity gossip you next week. Bye. Those lovely news, but moving on. This week, we'll be talking about the upcoming games for the DCP Sports. Tomorrow, we will be having the girls' soccer team play against Moore High School at 5.30 p.m. On Thursday, we have the basketball's girl team play against our rivals, LCPA, at 4 p.m. And on Friday, we have the girls' soccer team play against Summit at 3.30 p.m. Please, what? No. Please make sure you say good luck to them and thank you. You may not go along. Thank you. Alright, so tomorrow the boys soccer team will be playing against this uh, DCP, the other DCP. Make sure you go support, it will be at 3.30. And Wednesday they will be playing against um, Alma Heights, same time, uh, 3.30. And Friday, well, we don't know yet if they're going to play against Summit, so the game will be determined. And moving on to the boys basketball team, they will be playing against LCPA, our rivals, on Thursday. So make sure you go out there and support, so please. And Friday they will be playing against St. Lawrence, so... Yeah, same time, 5.30, so please go support. Thank you, Alon, and please stay tuned to hear more. Hello, this is Gamecom. I'm David Dobbs, here with World News. We have learned that IRIS, the Syria-based terrorist group, has now been discovered. We are wondering what we should do today about this terrorist group. Quick in competition with Al-Qaeda, Already buying weapons such as AKs and other automatic machinery. And other news, Cuba, the little country we shut off from the world, is now being re-entered into this new day. Did you know that in Cuba they still drive cars from the 50s? Well not anymore. Not that the, we have released the barriers, they are free to do business and transfer goods to other countries. This has been David with your World News. And that's all for DCP News, and hopefully we'll see you next week for another exciting episode if we still do it again. But anyways, thank you for stopping by, and yeah, bye-bye. Well, I love you.